Danny B, you're watching the Chase Dish. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Facelift. You've lost your memory too. You operated on me a year ago. You can see the results now for yourself. Frank, let's forget it. It was my only failure. Really? Well, I've got a surprise for you. No! So this is a film by uh, Jess Franco, and um, one of his more kind of like entertaining movies. And I'm a huge fan of Franco films, but a lot of them I probably wouldn't watch with a group of people. This one is a fun one to watch with a group of people. It doesn't really have that much sex stuff in it. Like, you know, a lot of his movies are full, like, sex exploitation stuff. This one focuses much more on the horror aspect. And it's actually a lot like a Lucio Fulci movie. This was a one-time producer for Franco, I believe. And um, they must have just wanted him to do Fulci style. Because it's, it's really, it's like Fulci mixed with, like, Bruno Mattai or something. Like, it's crazy cheesy. But it's got, like, like set designs and stuff that... Looks straight out of like a Fulci movie, and plus it's very gory too. Jess Franco really doesn't do that many gory movies. He'll do like horror movies, but mostly like kind of like vampire stuff. This one actually has like a surgeon taking people's faces off. People getting like stabbed in the eyeball and shit. It's very random, very goofy, and it's got a pretty good uh, cast in it too. Like Telly Savalas is in this, Carolyn Monroe. Uh, Helmet Burger. But yeah, what a bizarre movie this is. So let me just get into the plot. This is going to be kind of hard to explain, but this plastic surgeon is walking around France with his two wives. Someone who he operated on is mad about their fucked up face. So they find him and throw acid on him, but they miss and they hit his wife in the face with acid. So now she has a fucked up face. So now the plastic surgeon is stalking all these supermodels, trying to take their face off to put it on his, uh, you know, his second wife. And if that's not bizarre enough, he also has like a lair in his plastic surgeon hospital. He's got a fucking asylum full of like prison cells and stuff. And he's taking these supermodels, he's kidnapping them, putting them in there and if you know one surgery goes wrong then he's on to the next one and he's got this weird henchman who's kind of like Igor from Frankenstein or some shit and he's going around with like a hatchet chopping people's arms off and what's funny is the henchman is fucking up every chance he gets he's messing things up big time for the doctor so I don't know why they keep trusting this guy with him if you've seen Franco's movie Bloody Moon, this one is kind of like in the same style as Bloody Moon. I like this a lot better than Bloody Moon, though. Also, this one is set at Christmas time, so it's a Christmas movie, of all things. And this one song keeps playing throughout the movie, and it's really, honestly, it's kind of catchy. I've had it stuck in my head for a couple days now. Mysteries always excite me. But I'm even happier when I can see who I'm screwing. <laughs> Natalie, asshole! of a detective movie there's a private eye trying to find the plastic surgeon trying to find the guy's daughter who got kidnapped let's well, say you know this one would probably make a good double feature with burial ground if anyone's seen that movie this is like almost as bizarre as burial ground i'm gonna give this one four out of five stars that's faceless hey right, guys it's danny b you're watching the trash dish let me know what you think of faceless if you've seen it uh let me know your favorite jess franco movies hit the like button comment and subscribe peace out